keep having this focusing problem. <sighs> hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm still not filming 100%, but I want to film this video so that way I have my TBR done and I don't have to like wait until I feel better to film it. And I didn't want to put makeup on and do my hair and stuff when I'm just going to be in bed all day. So, this is my October TBR, and excuse the my parents. Just, I'm so sorry. I picked out 10 books, 10 physical books to read that are on the more creepy side, and then I have a few other books I'm going to read on my Kindle. And I'm hoping that I can get them all done in time for this. I'm sure I will because I'm so, so more excited about these books than I was about my first TBR, even though I finished all my TBR. I don't know. I finished them, so I don't know what's going on. Alright, I'm just going to jump right into it. They run along the creepy side, but they're not like extremely creepy. I am thinking about doing a couple of creepy audiobooks. I feel like if I listen to a creepy book, it'll be even more scary, and I like the thrill of being scared. So, I may do The Shining. I'll just put that in right now. I may do The Shining, and I'll put a cover up of it. I'll put a picture of it. It'll, it'll smack my face inside. Anyways, um, The Shining by Stephen King, and I want to do either that or a Neil Gaiman book, and with, if it's Neil Gaiman, if I choose Neil Gaiman, it'll be Caroline or The Graveyard Book. So, I'll get those off Audible. Um, and I'll put pictures over here. So either one of those I might read for a creepy effect. And this is the pile of books that I'm going to read right now. There's ten. Did I say that? Ten physical books. So, okay. This one I'm going to read in the, like, this is going to probably be the only order because I want to start this book already. It's, it's been laughing at me from my shelves and I just was waiting for this month. Wow, I keep ruining it. I was waiting for this month and I wanted to read it and it's Anna Dress and Blood by Kendra Blake and it's about a ghost. It's about ghosts and ghost hunters and love and it's a duology. I've never read a duology before so I'm excited to read this one and might pick up the sequel because that one is also on the creepy side so we'll see but yes and dress and blood. The next one I'll probably read after and dress and blood just because I want to read this book so 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 bad and that is the bind up of the sweep series and should I tell you the books that are in it? It's The Book of Shadows, The Coven, and Blood Witch. I've already read all the books in this series. I read them when I was a freshman in high school, but I want to reread them because I love them. They remind me of autumn and they remind me of winter, and I don't know if that's because most of the things that take place in this book are in that, in that time period, no, in that season, those seasons, or if it's because I read them in those seasons when I was a freshman in high school. So I love all these books and I cannot, I cannot wait to read them. It's by Kate Tiernan, just, I don't know if I said that, but anyways, um, yeah, I've been waiting for October to read it and it's like been laughing at me on my shelves too. 14. Yeah, there is 15 books. I was right. I'm so happy. Next, I don't really have any order. It's just whatever I feel in the mood to read. So I'm just going to show them. The next one I picked up was Daughter Smoke and Bone by Lonnie Taylor. And this one, I'm not sure if it's completely creepy, but I want to read it really bad. I read the first page when I was in a book slump, and I was just trying to read all of the pages in books that I had recently bought, and this one just didn't grab my attention. Actually, I really did, but I just wasn't in the mood to read more Angels, because I was reading Angel Fall. So, I'm going to read this this month and it's about angels and demons I think and that can be creepy so I'm gonna read it. I've heard great things about this book too. Next I'm gonna read a sequel to a book that I read last month and that is Sea of Monsters and it's the second in the Percy Jackson series. I want to finish these as soon as possible so that way I can get on to the Heroes of Olympus series and then I'll read his Egyptian series. I can't remember what it's called but it's about Egyptian lore and I just want to read all of Rick Riordan's books as soon as possible because they're amazing so I am going to read this one and who knows maybe I'll read another one if I have time this month but we'll see. I have a lot of time on my hands because I'm going to online college so. Next is another book that I think sounds really creepy and I don't know I haven't read it so we'll see and that's Mothrologist by Rick Yancey and this is about a apprentice to a doctor and the doctor specializes in creepiness and monsters and it's just like his story working with the doctor and this has got three four there's four one two three four four books in a series so they're not it's not quite a trilogy it's just a little bit over a trilogy obviously I don't know why I'm telling you that but I want to read this book super super bad this month because I feel like it'll be super creepy I haven't actually heard a whole lot about this book but I know he wrote the fifth wave and everybody loved that so hopefully this series is really good next I have another one that's um, I don't know if it's creepy or not. I've heard a few people say it was creepy, but we'll see. And that is The Coldest Girl in Coldtown by Holly Black. And 
yeah, it's about vampires, and I feel like that's very apropos for fall and Halloween. Vampires is just like a major deal in Halloween, so I'm gonna go with this. I'm excited about this book. It's about, I don't really want to get into what it's about because I've heard it over and over and over again, and I don't know if you've heard it over and over and you're kind of just burnt out on it, but I'm just not, don't even want to get into it. All I know and all I care about is that it's about vampires, so hopefully it's really good. I've read Holly Black's Fairy series, I think. And I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like my favorite series in the world, and I don't know, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't think I enjoyed it when I was, like, after I read it, but the more I think about it, and, like, what happens, it was pretty good. I kind of liked it. So, hopefully I like this too. Next is historical fiction, and it's about witches, and it's called Born Wicked, and I am just want to read about more witches. I feel like witches... I don't know. Whenever I think witches, I think Salem witch trials and witch trials and Salem. And then when I think about Salem, I think about fall and, you know, like Halloween. I don't know why I think about Salem. You know, the movie Halloween? I don't even think it takes place in Salem. But for some reason, that's what I think about. So, I'm going to be reading some witches this month. I can't talk today. I just not really here, but I need to finish this video. Nope. All right. Well, sorry if I'm not focused. I've been having a focusing problem. I already said that. The next book that I have is Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce, and this is a retelling. This is a retelling of, if I can think today, Red Riding Hood, and I just wanted to read this book so bad, and it's been on my shelves for a while, and I just want to get it over with. No, that sounds like I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'm seriously, I'm so excited for it. I haven't read any. Ugh, I haven't read any fairy tale retellings, so. I'm glad this is going to be my first one, and I'm hoping that I can score the cover that matches this for the next one. And that one's based on Hansel and Gretel, I'm pretty sure. Gosh, Nikes. Alright, next I have, of course, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, and this, you know what this one's about too, because everybody's been talking about it. It's by April T. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to do it. Just say April T. And it's just about a girl and a brother and a devil living in the same house. That's what I get from the gist of it. So, I'm gonna read it. Sounds creepy, and I love the cover, and I can't wait to read it. Alright, and last physical... What is that even English? The last physical book that I'm gonna read is... I don't know if I can constitute this as creepy, but I think it's on the more creepy side, and that is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. And I've heard such amazing things about Patrick Ness, and I've heard such, such amazing things about this series in this book, so I'm excited to read it. I've never read anything Patrick Ness, and I've never read anything like this book before, so I'm really looking forward to it. If you don't know what it's about, very quickly, it's about a boy who lives in a town where all the men can hear each other's thoughts, and then you turn, like, it's, wait, it's a town full of men, or boys, like, it's just a bunch of boy men, guys, and um, when you turn 13 or a certain age, you turn into a man, and then you can hear everybody's thoughts in the village or, like, town or whatever, and this guy finds silence, and he doesn't hear these people in his head, and so he, this kid, that's this book's about, so he runs, he's on the run, and for something, I don't know, and he meets a girl. I don't know. I don't think it's got any romance in it, but he does meet a girl, and they become best friends, I'm assuming, but who knows. Anyways, um, I don't know, because I haven't read it yet. I got the hardcover of it, and I just... Oh, I just love it so much. I'm so glad I got the hardcover. Three books in this series as well, and I want to finish the series. That was quick. I wanted it to be quick. I'm falling backwards. Um, the other books that I'll probably be reading is going to be Stir Me Up. No, no, there's the picture of it. I bought that already, and I'll probably be reading that very soon, like today, because <laughs> I'm super excited. It's a new adult book, and it's about a marine and, like, a girl who's trying to find herself, falling in love, and I'm just, I love books about military men. I just love the stories of them, and it deals with PTSD, which I think is very, it's just very interesting for me to read. I just love reading about those types of things. I'm also going to be reading Unchained by Jennifer L. Armitrout, because I purchased this book last month. When it came out, like the day after it came out, which was like the 17th of September, and it's Jennifer's adult novel, and it's about Nephilim and fallen angels, and I've started it, but I haven't really got into it, and I love Jennifer's writing. Like I've said, I've read everything that she's put out, sans this book, because I'm going to read it. I just really want to read this book. Uh, the Those two books I'm going to be reading on my Kindle are adult, and they have adult situations, like sexual situations, so if you're not into that, then I wouldn't recommend checking out. But if you are, then... 
that's what is going to I mean then I recommend you check them out because so far I've only heard great things about both books and I'm super excited to read them anyways yeah that's my October TBR and I know this video it's kind of weird because I've uploaded, like I have so many videos to upload, so today is October 1st, but I still have two more videos that I need to upload, like in the next two days, so this is going to be up a little bit later than October 1st, but I didn't want to wait any longer to film it because then it would be out, like, it wouldn't, then it'd be too long, far away, and then it'd be like halfway into October, I know me, I procrastinate, so I wanted to get this done, and um, thank you for sticking with me, and thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and let me know which books I should read first because I'm not really sure besides Anna Dressed in Blood. I know I'm gonna read that one today. I'm reading that one and Star Me Up today. So so just let me know what you think in the comments, which ones I should read first, which ones you liked most. And yeah, I love talking to you guys. It's a lot of fun. <sighs> Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!